Hi, my name is Marissa White. I'm a surgical pathologist at the Johns Hopkins University School of Medicine. I've been very involved with the ASCP Diversity Inclusion Committee, which has been a wonderful opportunity for ASCP to promote um, diversity and inclusion um, in, our, in our entire workforce um, as a uh, core element of everything that we do. Um, so hopefully with the efforts of the, of the Diversity and Inclusion Committee, we can bring forth a conversation about our roles as laboratory professionals in mitigating health disparities um, while simultaneously increasing workforce diversity uh, for all of our laboratory professionals. So for the ASCP 2020 annual virtual conference, um, we had the opportunity to present a session called Health Equity, Complete Wellbeing for All. This was presented with my colleagues here at Johns Hopkins, where we provided a refresher of what health equity means for us as laboratory professionals and provide some tangible opportunities, some, some tangible resources uh, for laboratory professionals to use when they're trying to uh, consider ways to increase diversity, equity, inclusion, not only for their laboratory staff or trainees, but also for their patients. I think one of the most positive outcomes is that we've expanded the conversation about diversity, equity, inclusion. I think with the conference, there's been a, you know, there was a, there were significantly more offerings that focus on diversity, equity, inclusion, and um, those that focus was partly um, due to the ASCP diversity inclusion committee efforts. On a large scale, diversity is critical as pathology remains at the forefront of medical innovation. Um, with diversity comes new ideas, and without those new, without diversity, you don't get those new ideas. On a smaller scale, in order to get those new ideas and that diversity of thought, you need to have individuals coming from backgrounds that are different from the majority. In order to have those diverse individuals succeed, you have to have concerted efforts not only to recruit them, but then to also retain them, which is more important. It's critical to promoting health outcomes, to continuing to be at the forefront of our understanding, our fundamental understanding of medicine. Um, but on a smaller scale, that means making sure that each and every individual feels included and feels um, wanted and feels involved in our practice or in the training programs so that they aren't lost in the pipeline into pathology. Having an opportunity to serve on the Diversity and Inclusion Committee for ASCP has been an honor. Um, for many years, ASCP to me has stood out as a leader for diversity, inclusion, and equity, um, both at the national level and at the global level um, in terms of the conference offerings that focus on global health equity and global health disparities.